Welcome everyone. I have been asked about how to obtain the Z value corresponding to a service level value which is used in the reorder point and fixed interval order quantity calculation explained in the videos of the above links. The variation in demand is assumed to be normally distribution with a mean value, mu equals d bar. As you know the normal distribution is represented by this figure. In our case, the purple area represents the probability of stockout while the remaining area is the probability of no stockout or the service level. The value of the risk of a stockout or the service level is a decision of the operation manager. For example, the operations manager needs a risk of stockout of 1% which means a probability of no stockout or the service level equals 100 minus 1 equals 99% equals 0.99. The 0.99 is the area under the curve and we need to find the corresponding x value, or z value. The area under the curve, or the service level, can be calculated by this equation. Where p of x is the service level, 0.99 in the current case, x, or z, is the value, we need to obtain, mu, is, the, mean, value, of, the, demand, open paren d bar, and sigma is the standard deviation of the demand. However, instead of doing calculus to solve such equation, tables were generated in the 19th century to make it easy for us to find the value of p of x for different x or vice versa. These tables are called normal distribution tables. Now I will explain how to use this table. If z equals 1.27, make it z equals 1.2 plus 0 0.07. This part that contains the unit and tenths is the row heading, the values in the first column. While this part that contains the hundredths is the heading of the column except the first one, the values 0 .00, 0 .01, 0 .02, 2, 0 .09. So, the intersection of the 1.2 row and 0 .07 column is 0 0.8980. Consequently, the service level is 0 0.898 or 89.8%. Conversely, if the operations manager decided to have a service level of 99%, this means that the area under the curve is 0.99. And it is required to find the value of z corresponding to this area. What we have to do is to look within these number for the closest number to 0.99. Here it is 0.9901. Now, go to the row and column heading, they are 2.3 and 0 0.03. Add them up to get this result z equals 2.33. To make sure that you can do this by yourself, Find the Z value corresponding to service level of 97%. Pause this video, take your time to find it and write the value you find in the comment then play the video to check your answer. It is 1.8 plus 0 0.08 equals 1.88. Excellent, you obtained the same value. If not watch the video again. The channel needs your support by like and share this video. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. See you again.